our readers are mainly investors and financiers. Uh, could you please give us your own definition of circular economy? A circular economy is best described when you compare it to our current linear one. Our current linear economy is predominantly take, make, dispose. So we take a material out of the ground, we make something out of it, and at the end of the life of that product, the materials predominantly get thrown away. We do recycle some of the material, but the majority we lose because the system was never designed for the material to be recovered. Within a circular economy, from the outset, not only do you design a product so you can recover the material, but you design the product so it can be kept at its highest value at all times. So that may mean that the product is remanufacturable, it may mean that the product is decomponentized, it may mean that product is leased rather than sold, because then that guarantees the product can feed back into a system which knows how to valorize it. So it's a different economic model in its entirety, looking at valorizing products, materials and components to their highest value all the time, but both in technical spheres, such as metals, plastics, polymers, and also biological spheres, so reconnecting nutrient loops from a food perspective, an agriculture perspective, anything that biodegrades, basically. In your opinion, for the investors, where are the main differences between circular economy and linear economy? Well, linear economy tends to be uh, invested in when you're trying to get a bit more value out of a system. So a car manufacturer may make a car, they may make that car slightly more efficiently, and you may invest in that, the, the efficiency of the way the car is made. Within circular principles, you may not sell the car. You may lease the car, you may provide the car to Uber drivers, you may design a car that's designed to be remanufactured and repaired and kept at its highest value at all times. Therefore, you don't make money when you sell the vehicle and the materials within them, which currently is the case with linear economy. A car manufacturer only makes money when it sells vehicles. If you shift to circular principles, you may lease them, you may remanufacture. Everything changes, the design, the marketing, the financing. So actually, it's a very, very different concept. What are the most efficient methods, in your opinion, to start the transit to circular economy in the food chain? From a food chain perspective, circular economy is incredibly complex. We have biological materials in our clothes, we have biological materials in our packaging, we have biological materials in our food production systems, from our agriculture, um, in, our, um, in, in so many elements of life. So, recreating re creating nutrient loops and reconnecting nutrient loops within the food and farming system is complex but there's so much value to be had because so much of that valuable material doesn't go back to the farm, so much of that biomass doesn't go back to the land, it doesn't um, uh, stop the 40 billion cost per year of soil degradation globally for example because the biomass isn't going back to the land. So there's a massive economic potential to reconnect those nutrient loops but it is a complex one. Where are the benefits to farmers to start changing their habits to move towards circular economy? I don't think this is something farmers can do in isolation. Farmers need a supply of biomass. Now, some of that they can create on their own farms, and we've seen examples of that. But when it comes to recovering food waste from cities, human waste from cities, um, biomass from cities, actually that's not something a farmer can just do tomorrow. You need the system to change to enable that biomass to be fed back into agriculture. That's quite complex and that involves a systemic approach to changing the system, which not one actor can do on their own. Cities can't do it on their own, retailers can't do it on their own, farmers can't do it on their own because the products Packaging needs to be designed in a way whereby the biomass can be recovered easily. There are many complex elements. So actually, this is a systems change. There is a massive benefit to farmers to get biomass back to the farms, to rebuild the natural capital of the soil, to make it more water retentive, to put nutrients on in a different way, which is less reliant on chemical fertilizers, but they can't do it on their own.